Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another time of stories with Grammy Cat. We're going to continue to read from the complete book of Farmyard Tales. Oh, hi, Mr. Wrinkles. Do you want to read with us today? Okay. Well, um, what's our story about today? What? What's that? A tractor? Oh, okay. Well, let's get started on our story. Oh, good job helping Mr. Wrinkles. You're so strong. Oh, this is called Tractor in Trouble. Can you see the words? Tractor in Trouble. Look at that beautiful tractor. Wow. Okay, here we go. This is Apple Tree Farm. It looks like it's a very windy day and it's cold and it must be cold because Mrs. Boot the farmer and her daughter Poppy and her son Sam, they have on their coats hats and mittens and even boots and look here's Rusty over here he's their dog now remember boys and girls let's look for Darla the duck I think I see her flying in the air because it's so windy look she's way up here oh my goodness I hope she's gonna be okay this is Ted he works on the farm with Mr. Boot and Mrs. Boot. He helps them. Ted looks after the tractor and all of the farm machines. Look at that beautiful tractor. It's brand new. Ted is polishing it. It's very lovely. Look, it's so windy that his hat is flying right off. And here's Darla the duck down here, hiding behind the pail. So as we said earlier, today it is very windy on Apple Tree Farm. The wind is blowing the trees and it's very cold. Poppy and Sam are playing in the barn where it's warmer. You see them on their toys? And here's Rusty. Oh, and look over here hiding behind the tree on the fence is Darla the duck. Ted, where are you going? Ted is driving the tractor out of the tractor yard. I'm just going to go see if the sheep are all right, he said. Poppy and Sam waved goodbye. Look, here's a bunny. Here's Rusty the dog. Where is Darla the duck? Oh, here she is, up on the roof. Can you see her hiding up on the roof of the barn? She's a very clever little duck. She likes to hide. Ted stops the tractor by the gate. He goes into the sheep field and he's nailing down the roof of the sheep shed to make it safe. Can you see what he's doing up there on the roof? Because it's very windy and the wind is going to blow the roof right off the sheep shed. This is the sheep shed. That's where the sheep go in to stay nice and warm when it's cold outside. And over here hiding by the fence post is Darla the duck. Poppy and Sam heard a terrible crash. Oh my, what's that, said Sam. Well, I don't know, said Poppy. Let's go and look. And they ran down to the field right where Ted was with the tractor. Here's Darla the duck hiding by the fence post. Oh, look at that. A tree has blown down. It's so windy that a tree has blown down right on top of the tractor. Oh, Poppy said, we must help him. Come on, Sam. 
Oh, and look at, look at Ted standing by the gate. And he doesn't know what to do. What do you do when a tree crashes down on your tractor? Well, let's find out. Here's Darla the duck. Oh, here's Darla the duck again hiding in the tree. That tree is all over the top of the tractor. Ted can't even get inside the cab. Wow, that's a big tree. Oh, and Ted is so very upset. And the tree has scratched the new tractor right up here on the paint. He can't get inside. What? you think they should do? Well, I think they're going to need some help. Don't you agree, boys and girls? Ted said, please go ask Farmer Dre to help. I think I see him on the hill, said Ted. So Poppy and Sam, they ran to ask Farmer Dre if he could help them. Do you see where Darla's hiding behind Ted's boot right here? Very soon, Farmer Dre came with his horse, Dolly. Oh my gosh, is she ever a beautiful horse, don't you think? Oh, and look, how did Darla get on top of the horse? That's where she is. She's going for a ride. Farmer Dre has a big, gentle cart horse called Dolly, and they have come to help Ted. Look, Farmer Dre has brought his chainsaw with probably so that they can chop that great big tree into lots of little pieces. That's a good idea. I'll cut the tree up first, said Farmer Dre. So he started up his chainsaw. I don't know if that's what a chainsaw sounds like, but I think so. So Farmer Dre started to cut the branches off that fell on top of the tractor. And look, here's Dolly, the beautiful cart horse, standing off to the side, watching. And here's Darla the duck, and she's watching. And look, here's Sam and Rusty and Poppy and Ted. And they're all watching Farmer Dre with his chainsaw cut the branches. Now it's Dolly's time to get to work. They tied, they tied a rope to Dolly's harness and they securely fastened it to the biggest part of the tree. Ted tied the other two ends to the big branches. That's quite a mess that tree made, don't you think, boys and girls? Oh, and where is Darla now? Well, she's on top of the trunk over here. Can you see her? Okay, Farmer Dre says to Dolly, come on, let's pull. She pulled and she pulled and she pulled and finally that big old tree, the part of the tree that was trapped on top of the tractor, she got it off. Oh, what a good job, Dolly. She worked so hard. Well done, Dolly, said Farmer Dre. Oh, and look. There's Darla hiding behind Dolly's rear hoof. And look, can you see the sheep in the background? There's one, two, three. Good job, Dolly. Ted climbed back into the cab of the tractor. Thank you very much, Farmer Dre and Dolly, he said. And they all went back to the farmyard. Wow, look at all those tree branches. And here's Darla off to the side, hiding behind the tree trunk. Well, the tractor looks a little messy. It got kind of scratched up from that tree. But Ted has a little jar of paint and a paintbrush. So he's covering up all the scratches. It will soon be good as a new, he said. 
Ah, there's always a happy ending to these stories because they all work together as friends and family. And look, here's Rusty and Whiskers and Darla the Duck. Well, that was a good story. I liked that one. Did you like that one, boys and girls? Well, what do you think? Where do you think Mr. Wrinkles is hiding? Mr. Wrinkles, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi, Mr. Wrinkles. Do you like that book? What are you smelling? You smell anything? Dogs like to smell and sniff around. Do you smell anything? No, I didn't think so. Because books don't smell. But farms do. And there's lots of fun things to smell on farms. So maybe one day we'll actually go and visit a farm. That could be fun. But until the next time, can you wave goodbye, Mr. Wrinkles? Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next time.